bit of prejudice lead to division in the last moment. So in the, after the last moment, I can go gradually and also more. The, the reason is different, but the effect finally. Because the, the friction comes only due to this instability. So uh, if the uh, loading is too large, then it can also be damaged. In September 2024, another international conference took place in Samarkand, this time on the topic Advanced Mechanics, Structure, Materials and Tribology. This film will of course deal with the conference and the events associated with it, but it will also offer an insight into a fascinating city with a long history. This little bit of self-promotion. A conference with scientists from all over the world not only serves to report on scientific work and new results, but it should also offer participants the opportunity to build human relationships and have conversations. Therefore, a conference dinner took place on the evening of the first day. One of the main initiators of this conference, Professor Popov, turned 65 this year. And of course, this had to be celebrated.
Кой This year, there were a lot of registrations for the conference, not only listeners but also speakers. That's why the event, with its many interesting lectures and discussions, stretched over three days. And after a relaxing evening, now the second part has been started. Yeah, thank you. It's a very deep question, and I should say that we had shear stresses just uh, as ratio uh, of uh, between uh, friction force and contact area and friction coefficient as ratio between friction force. In principle, we have already two additions. Well, model or only for point model, but Samarkand is one of the oldest cities on earth. Among other things, it was conquered by Alexander the Great, destroyed by Genghis Khan and was later part of the Persian Empire. In the 14th century, Samarkand experienced as a cultural heyday under the rule of Timur, also known as Tamerlane. Samarkand was also an important hub along the Silk Road that connected Europe and Asia. The city got rich by trade and goods, ideas and cultures were exchanged. Today Samarkand is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and attracts visitors from all over the world. It is also a symbol of the region's rich history and culture. The best known landmark of Samarkand is the mausoleum known as Guri Amir. It shows the influences of many cultures, past civilizations, neighboring peoples and religions, especially those of Islam. The blueprint and layout with the precise measurements demonstrate the Islamic passion for geometry. The tiled walls are a marvelous example of mosaic faience an Iranian technique in which each tile is cut, colored and fit individually. The magnificent Registan Square is the defining image not only of Samarkand but of the whole Silk Road. It was the city's ancient center and is bounded by three monumental religious buildings. They house student lodgings and classrooms and in the evening they are beautifully illuminated. The third day of the conference was also filled with a variety of topics. Due to the number of contributions and the different subject areas, the afternoon consisted of several sections. Friction coefficient, but in reality, at a high velocity of uh, punching, uh, we have uh, different situations. Because we know, then we know forces, we know displacements, we know stiffness, 
we know the dynamics of the, of the contact as a part of the multi-body problems, as we saw in the talk of Professor Yoshi. But on the other hand, here we have many experts of material science. 